a sit down video in the car like usual um i haven't felt well so um i was gonna do one last night but it just didn't happen so here we are plus i wanted to try the new gopro we got we got gopro 8 now but aside from all that we are gonna talk about a neurologist versus an apatologist and my experience with it and basically an apatologist is a neurologist but a neurologist isn't always an apatologist <laughs> and basically an apatologist is um has a degree in apatology ep <laughs> epilepsy apparent um as the name suggests oh my gosh i can't talk so they're more like informative on epilepsy as a neurologist in my experience is not that very, very is not very informative sorry y'all i'm tired and like doesn't know much um i've had a couple neurologists as a kid and that my mother remembers i don't really remember them that well and then the one that i had when i turned 18 until just recently when i switched um the ones when i was a kid must not have been very informative because my mom doesn't really know much <laughs> and every time i tell her something she's like oh really like she's shocked um and my adult neurologist didn't seem to know anything she didn't give me information on the eeg she didn't know what certain things meant of the EEG. Um, she didn't seem to know what to do with me and asked me what I wanted to do all the time, which is weird because I go to the do the neurologist for that. Like, I don't even know what to do. I'm like not, I don't have a degree in that. I don't know. <laughs> and then I started having problems with the staff because there's one person there who seems to think that she doesn't need to do anything if the other people are gone, like, out of what she's supposed to do, basically, from what I've heard. So if I called for um, an appointment on a Friday, I would get her. And a couple times I got her answering the messages I left, and, like, she is super annoying, and I couldn't stand her, but... Basically, if she answered on, on the Friday that I was trying to make an appointment, she would say the appointment person wasn't there and to call back Monday. Um, I ran into her basically when I was having all those seizures and they were out of control and like, I was very delirious and like, I needed to see somebody. They were trying to kill me. Well, I kept getting her and it was very frustrating. Recently, I switched to an optologist, and the first, first appointment went amazing. Um, he actually told me all the information I needed, which I already knew by that point, because everything that I know, I've had to do tons of research on, because my neurologist was not very helpful. Um, he actually told me a little bit about my last EEG, which surprised me, because my neurologist didn't really tell me anything about the EEG. Um... And he like took the initiative and he put me on a second medicine medication um, <clears throat> which she seemed to not know what to do with me and asked me what I wanted to do he just kind of went for it and said hey this is what's supposed to happen this is what we should do and yada 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 um, which I absolutely love the only downfall is he does not prescribe medical marijuana which is fine, because that should be expensive. <laughs> um, they also have an EMU, which I might be in at some point, where they basically decrease your meds to where you finally have the seizures so they can get the data that they need. Um, we may need another EEG at some point too, which I found awesome. Um, a neurologist is more common than an apatologist, and I was very shocked I found an apatologist to be honest so I may get more the help more help the help that eh, 
that. <laughs> the help that I need. I am very tongue tied. I am tired. Um, I'll see what I can edit out, okay? Until the meantime, you guys just gotta deal with my weirdness, alright? <laughs> Um, so at some point I will be in the EMU probably and my mom and my fiance will have to deal with the kid. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I absolutely love him. I couldn't find, I couldn't believe that I found one that was near me. Um, he has been super amazing. Even off the first appointment, which would have been nice to know in the beginning when I was so confused on what was wrong with my brain. So, yeah. The difference between an epitologist and neurologist are pity. Pity? Pity. Pretty great. <laughs> um, the epitologist does more than the neurologist. And I've not had great experience with neurologists. Um, but I am having pretty good experience with that pathologist. And like I said, he actually knows what he's doing. He knows what to do with me. Um, he put me on psych medication and he is basically being the leader instead of asking me what I want to do. Because I never know what I want to do. So, especially when it comes to my epilepsy because like, I, I've had new, newer seizures I didn't know nothing about and I didn't know what to do and I was at a loss my neurologist was not very helpful so yeah the difference between an epitologist is that the epitologist is a neurologist but not every neurologist is an epitologist and find an epitologist if you can because neurologists are not that great when it comes to epilepsy I don't know if that has to do with all neurologists because some people probably have a great neurologist um but however i have not had great experience with neurologists that don't have a degree in epilepsy like i don't know <laughs> just has not been easy for me and my seizures haven't been fully controlled so lately they've been doing pretty good especially with the medical marijuana um i'm only up to my dose and now i'm on second medication but since he doesn't prescribe medical marijuana i will not be on that next year um but in my experience it is cheaper if you go through a dispensary and i've been through a dispensary because i've been to illinois so um Medical hey, marijuana is not really me. worth the price. Yeah, hey, can you hear me? <laughs> like it killed my wallet. Okay. It's yeah, killing I me. Can drop them both off. So I yeah. To eject the SIM card out while I'm at your I place. wanted to I make this video because I'm very excited for my neurologist. I mean, not neurologist, my hepatologist. I'm very excited to work with him and to see where this takes. Uh, and I'm quick trip right now, and I'll be right there. He is how I found out that I have. We'll both epileptic seizures yep, and non-epileptic seizures by showing me my EEG, which was amazing because my neurologist never told me that. Sorry about that. I don't know if she knew or didn't know, but yeah, I have both epileptic and non-epileptic seizures. Hey, um, a ball of crazy up here. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Majorly. Um. So, let me know what you think of this video and um, if you have an epitologist or a neurologist and what your experience is with either one because uh, my experience has not been very great with a neurologist. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to end the video here and until next time, bye guys.